Hello, welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be working off of what we talked about with the empirical rule, but we're going to be using an, an example for that empirical rule. So remember I said you can use this empirical rule when data follows that normal distribution. So we're going to do that today and we're going to look at um, utilizing the empirical rule for uh, female heights. And I know that the mean of female heights is 65 inches and then the standard deviation for female heights is 2.7 inches. So we're going to utilize that information to calculate the empirical rule. Remember there are three separate intervals essentially that you end up calculating. The first one is the 68% interval and that's going to be taking the mean. So remember our mean is 65 and we add and subtract one times the standard deviation. So just in case you need to be reminded, this is the formula mean plus or minus one, two, or three times the standard deviation. And that was for all three of the intervals. And so this would come out to be 62.3 up to 67.7. So that's the first interval. The second one, remember, that the empirical rule does is 95% and that's two standard deviations out. So it takes the mean 65 and it adds and subtracts two times the standard deviation. So here if you add and subtract, we would go down to 59.6 and up to uh, 70.4 and that would contain 95% of the observations. And then the final one, if you remember, was going to be 99.7%, and that's going to be 65. That's the mean, plus or minus, and we would do three times the standard deviation. So it's important to notice that you would put those in uh, parentheses because of order of operations. You don't want to enter this all into your calculator at the same time, otherwise it wouldn't come out to the same thing. So we're doing that multiplication, and then you add and subtract. So when you do 65, um, minus three standard deviations, we would come up with a lower bound of 56.9. And if you do the 65 plus three standard deviations, you would come up with uh, 73.1. So that means that you can say 99.7% of female heights are between 56.9 and 73.1. We could say 95% are between 59.6 and 70.4. Or you could say maybe the probability of finding a female between those heights would be 95%. So on the next uh, illustration, we're going to put this onto the curve. So here we have the curve and it's still going to represent the same type of data. We're talking about female heights. If you remember, the mean for the female heights was 65. So that would be located right here. And then we talked about when we looked at generically the empirical rule, how you would go out one, two, three standard deviations, and then you can go out one, two, three standard deviations. And so we calculated on the last page the interval, and this would be 62.3 up to 67.7. And remember that that includes 68% uh, of our observations. Now the other thing to notice is because this curve is completely symmetric, if I actually only wanted to talk about the heights between 62.3 and 65, so just this location, I could just take that 68 and divide by 2. So in this small section, we would have 34% of our data. So between 62.3 and 65 as a height, 34% of females would have those heights. So the next one we had was two standard deviations out, and that went down to 59.6 and up to 70.4. And remember that was 95% of the observations. Now here it's not as easy to go from 59.6 up to 62.3 because this time we've already accounted for 68% of the data. So we can't just divide 95% by two. So we would have to take out that 68 because we've accounted for that. 
And if we did that, we would come up with 27. And if we divided that by two, that would give us that location. So there would be 13.5% in that small portion. And if you wanted to check that, you would have 13.5, 34, 34, and 13.5. And if you added them all together, they should sum to 95% because that's the percent that's in between these two marks. And then the last one we had, we had 56.9 at our 99.7 and then 73.1. And so in this area, we included almost the entire data set or 99.7. Again, if you wanted to figure out the percent that was in between 56.9 and 59.6, or in between 70.4 and 73.1, we would just take that 99.7, we would get rid of what we already knew, which was the 95%, which is in the center. We'd end with 4.7, but that's both of these chunks. So if we divide that by two, we know that that particular chunk between 70.4 and 73.1 is 2.35%. You also then can use the same logic to figure out what's in the tails. So if the whole thing is 100%, so this whole thing is equal to 100%, if I want to figure out the area in the tails, I take out what we already know, which is the 99.7, I'm left with 0.3. So in these tails, we have 0.3, divided by two, or it would be 0.15%. So the percent of females who are less than 56.9 inches is only 0.15%. Or the percent of females that are taller than 73.1 inches is 0.15%. So that's the empirical rule. And in the next video, we'll talk about what happens if you're not that perfect one, two, or three standard deviations from the mean. And we'll be using z-scores to do that. See you then.